Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, really nice day out today. We're gonna get started doing the door jams and start doing the dog legs and see what other repairs I need to make in this week's episode of the 1971 Dotson 240Z. Let's get started. So here is what I'm talking about. You can see right here that they just welded a patch panel on. They didn't even take this off. This is a 77 to 78 280Z striker, I believe. I'm not sure if the 260s uh, had a different striker on it, but that's what they did. I had no idea about the differences between any of the doors or how hard it would actually would be to find a nice condition 240Z door. I decided to go down to Virginia and pick up a door that would actually be the correct door. Not only was this the incorrect door that was welded on all weird, I'm, I'm actually surprised and impressed honestly that they were able to fit that in and get, them, get it to close so well. My plan is going to be cleaning up the donor vehicle that had a donor 240Z which included the inner door jam on the driver's side. So I'm gonna be replacing this whole section all the way up to there, taking out all the spot welds out, bringing this whole panel out as one unit, peeling this edge back on the top, and then repairing the dog leg section while I'm here too. Now, the reason why I decided that I'm gonna be replacing the dog leg section is one, it's starting to peel away on the seams. I could see there's a lot of different rust on the back side. It looked good initially until I started getting into it. And then it was also hit right here. So you see my finger has that gap. That's supposed to be filled out and flushed with everything. So this is all dented in. They tried to drill and pull a hole out. That is rotted away as well as this inside of where it meets down at the bottom. What I'm gonna be doing with that, I bought this panel local company here around Cleveland and it looks like it will be what I need for everything here. It includes the dog leg section. I'm hoping that this is going to fit nice without spending a lot of money on you know like Z-Car Depots or whatever that is a little bit more reputable brand. I'm not saying that this isn't a reputable company but this came all in one piece. It was like $65 for the whole section so I'm going to cut it Right about there, it comes with this inner portion of the lip that I need. So all this will be scrapped and I'll just be saving this top portion, cutting it there, peeling it back, putting it back in place, welding on this new one and uh, putting in the old donor piece for the door jam with the correct striker. I'll cut it to about right here because there is some dents um, right here and over here too that you might not be able to see on the camera. but. I just want it to be perfect. I don't want to have any filler on this edge here. I'll just blend it into the old panel. That's good still. The back side's good. No rod or rust or anything like that.
back piece that was left over is kind of a nightmare to get out. Couldn't really do much about not ruining this. So I'm gonna have to fix this top portion here. Here's the piece that I took off my parts car. What I'm gonna be doing here is keeping this center section. So all this in here, I'm gonna be keeping or get rid of all these spot welds on the side. And that'll enable me to take this section off and then keep this inner panel. Let me clean this up and I'll get back with you guys to show you what it looks like. Here's how this piece turned out after grinding and forming. I cut this edge down to match the curve, hopefully correctly, but I could always mess with that a little bit more when I get to that point. But it came out pretty nice. I don't know if I'd be able to do that that well again. Left the weld on the back. I'll put some seam sealer on this, prime this all, and uh, start trying to fit this in. I still have to do some repairs right here and I probably have to extend this down a little bit more, but we'll get to that point when I am done taking apart the rest of this. So let me do these wheel wells now. I'll do these spot wells on these wheel wells, cut this all off. I also have to repair this end of this outer rocker panel cover. Uh, at the bottom it starts to separate and you can't really see because I can't get the camera down here on the tripod But there is some rot on the bottom of this. So what my plan is for this I don't have a spare portion of this and I don't want to replace this whole thing because this this is uh, actually pretty good All the way down to there. Just got to clean up some surface rust I'm just gonna plan on leaving this on cutting off this edge getting these spot welds out where it meets and then that way It'll be nice and flush. I'll repair just a little rectangular piece right there, put it on and re-weld it, prime everything all up, and then I'll be ready to start fitting the rest of this in. So let me start doing all that now.
All right guys, so I got everything cut up, put this piece on that I've been working on, the donor door jam. Actually lines up really nicely as it should. But this bottom piece, I did have to try to hit it in more. The curve which is off just a little bit. Not too bad on this other side, as you can see, this is the piece. Other than that, starting to match up pretty nicely. This is dented in a little bit. Uh, just because it, it must have been in a hit on this side. There's no way that, you know, like a shopping cart or something like that did that. So definitely had to get pressed in. This is a low right here. This is a low right here. I'll pound this out towards us and start fitting and cutting into what I need of this section here that I bought. Okay, so here's what it looks like after I was all done, just quickly matching up everything. You saw how I was cutting both panels at one time. It's a trick I mentioned in a couple previous videos. So that just gets, you know, a nice even cut all the way through. And then you can just grind a couple of the edges off as you need when you start lining things up more. Now this piece I really like. I was surprised how well it actually fit, you know, especially as for me loosely mocking it up and everything. But I do need to bring this portion out more this edge is a little bit off, so I have to crimp it down just a little bit more to make it sharper. And then I'll be able to pull that out and work it in there pretty nice. Everything in here is looking really good. My biggest complaint about this piece, there are you know some dents and everything that I have to pound out too. There's a little bit of a low right here, but you know overall it, it's actually pretty nice. There's a little bit of a weird misshaped mark when they're bending it not a deal breaker i could always put some little bit of filler on that the biggest thing that i don't like about this piece is that they could have i wish they would have just extended it just a little bit more i need about a centimeters more of width to finish this out here so i think i'm going to add to it myself i don't know what else to do really for that because i'm sliding this all the way forward this way it's not moving anymore this is definitely the it's too short. I do have to still take all this off, repair underneath here. So let me know how you guys would tackle that. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts and everything since, you know, this is my first time doing the dog leg section like this and this aftermarket panels that most likely aren't going to fit perfect. Now, my biggest fear is trying to fit the door. So I'll get this tacked all in place uh, after I repair everything underneath, after I paint everything underneath as well. I'll be using Eastwood's uh, internal frame coating, so I'll be painting that all before I hit this and put it in. But I'm gonna tack it in, and then I have to put this door and mock this door up. So I'm really hoping and praying that this door is gonna close, and I'll get lucky on you know the first or second try, and hopefully I don't have to adjust this too much. I do have a little bit of play within this latch, but not much at all, uh, up and down or lateral side to side movement or anything like that. I think this is the hardest job that I started on this car this is just a lot of different lining up and everything but overall it's it's getting there all right guys i think i'm gonna end it there so i apologize i didn't finish this uh today but it, it is a ton of work um i have a total of maybe two or three days into this right now moving pretty fast and getting faster doing this sort of stuff but it still takes a lot of time so want to do it right this is a critical part to make sure your doors close and all your gaps line up correctly so I'm not going to rush it. Um, so until next time, stick around. We'll be cleaning up everything, finishing this, repairing all the rust, coating inside, and we'll be test fitting the doors. As always, have a great rest of your week.